The United Nations is at the top of the trends today, partially because of how busy they've been between the ongoing war in Israel, threats to the Red Sea trade route, and threats to pull out of the international body altogether. There's a lot of reasons why so many people have the UN on their mind. The United Nations continue to warn against the adverse political, security, economic, and humanitarian repercussions of military escalation in the Red Sea and the risk of exacerbating regional tensions. The United Nations Security Council meeting to address repeated Houthi rebel attacks on ships traveling the Red Sea trade route. Attacks against international shipping in the Red Sea area are not acceptable. Ships more be, must be allowed to trade worldwide unhindered and in accordance with international law. The Houthis have carried out more than 20 attacks since November 19th. Their harassment of commercial ships connected to the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war as it starts to reach beyond Israeli and Palestinian borders. A Houthi official vowing to punish the United States after it sunk three Houthi boats on the Red Sea, killing 10 militants. The concern about the war sparking regional fighting getting graver. <laughs> U.S. officials confirming Israel is behind the assassination of senior Hamas leader Salah al-Ruri earlier this week. His death has extremists in Lebanon calling for revenge. While Iran vows revenge for explosions that killed nearly 100 people at a ceremony commemorating top commander Qasem Soleimani, though it's unclear who carried out that attack. Iran now stationing a naval vessel in the Red Sea, also giving their backing to Yemen's Houthi rebels, the pair further threatening the vital trade route. The United States does not seek confrontation with Iran. Iran has a choice here. It can continue its current course or it can withhold its support, without which the Houthis would struggle to effectively track and strike commercial vessels. Around 18 shipping companies have rerouted their vessels around South Africa to avoid the risk of being hit, representing an additional 10-day journey. If oil tankers can't get through the Red Sea, it could increase the cost of oil and drive up prices at the pump. <laughs> South Africa also getting involved, pressing ahead with legal action against Israel, launching a case at the UN's top court alleging that Israel's military campaign in Gaza amounts to genocide. The filing and Israel's decision to defend itself against those allegations, setting up a high stakes showdown before a panel of judges at the International Court of Justice. The case will likely drag on for years as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vows to press ahead with the war until Hamas is crushed. Uh, we're absolutely committed to achieving our war games. That is destroying our war goals, destroying Hamas, releasing our hostages, making sure Gaza doesn't become a threat again. And as the UN deals with infighting, a Canadian Minister of Parliament is trying to garner support to remove the country entirely from the international body. Leslin Lewis sponsoring a public petition seeking Canada's withdrawal from the UN and its subsidiary organization saying she'll bring it before Parliament, opposing MPs calling the petition absurd and dangerous.